بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم مائی نیم از محمد آسم آئی ایم ورکنگ از دیو آپس انجینئر ٹو ڈے آئی ایم گوئنگ ٹو شو یو ہاؤ یو کین یوز دا ٹیر فارم ورژن ٹویلو اسکرپٹس ٹو ڈپلوائی دا سائڈ ٹو سائڈ وی پی این ان مائی پریویس ویڈیو آئی ہیو ٹولڈ یو گائز ہاؤ ٹو ڈپلوائی دا وی پی سی ان ورژن ٹویلو ٹیر فارم ورژن ٹویلو کوڈ سو دیز گائز دس از مائی ریپوزٹری یو سمپلی ہیو ٹو گو ٹو دا Terraform version 12 uh, repository. It is a public repository. Let me show you that as well. So, I go to the repositories. The code is absolutely available for you guys. It's the Terraform version 12. Okay, this is the one which is uh, publicly available. and uh, simply what you have to do is to simply clone it uh, what I'm going to do is to clone this repo in my previous video I've told you how you can uh, use the remote path and use the terraform uh, modules to deploy your architecture now uh, what I'm going to do is to show you guys how you can simply clone this uh, repo if you don't wanna use the remote uh, if you don't wanna use the remote uh, deployment of your uh, modules via terraform so uh, this is the repository uh, let me open in it uh, let me open in my editor as well okay so this is the one which we are going to use okay so if any other window is open no okay yeah so uh, i want to show you guys uh, if you go to the environment and dev uh, this is the main tf file so first of all what we are going to do is to deploy the vpc uh, if you want to know how uh, to deploy VPC I've already shown you guys in my previous video so uh, what I'm going to do is to simply CD into it okay I'm already in the desktop now uh, I have to CD into the let me grab the name of the case uh, telephone and I have to go to terraform uh, dot version 12 and AWS and in environment I will go to the dev and there is two files uh, main tf and version tf so from the main tf I'm, s I'm simply gonna uh, show um, I'm gonna initialize the you can use the terraform dot xz or terraform init here what it will do it will download the modules and plugins in the hidden dot terraform folder so let it initialize and then i'm going to deploy the vpc in the frankfurt region you can select any region i just uh, by simply you put the region name here in the region uh, section of this module and where you want your deployment so let it finish so with the single command I'm going to only deploy the VPC I'm not going to use the terraform apply command so it will deploy all this code which include the virtual gateway is the customer gateway and VPN connection along with KMS S3 security 1 2 3 4 5 uh, and the AC2 so um, first of all uh, we are going to deploy the side to side VPN uh, let's begin so uh, I'm going to use the command terraform apply dash target module is going to be the uh, VPC module 
and as I told you uh, the region I have already provided uh, it is the EU region and the um, CVPC location and the company name and your namespace whatever it is stage is dev um, map public IP on launch is true total net gay I need just one net gay way uh, for this um, tutorial you can use uh, two or three in fact in production I recommend uh, the number of net gateway should be equal to the number of AZs uh, because uh, for the high availability and um, I don't need DB subnets just I'm going to um, use the public and private subnet if you need uh, a database subnet simply uh, put true here and uh, provide the cider uh, range of your uh, database subnet definitely de database subnet uh, are going to be in private uh, it is not uh, these are not publicly accessible so I'm going to say yes also I can use the command dash auto approve but uh, just to show you guys uh, the deployment this is the cider range you see and this is this is the cider block I have given here uh, same will be deployed here L if I go to VPC section you will see the uh, cloud legend dev VPC and this is the cider it is uh, it will create the subnets automatically I need three subnets public and private and it is going to create the internet gateway attached it and then uh, it will create an elastic IP which it will be creating for uh, NAT gateway so it is in pending state once it is done uh, we are going to um, deploy the uh, let me show you the sequence of it we are going to deploy the uh, sequence is a um, little bit change anyway but we are going to deploy the customer customer gateway so I'm going to use the static IP like for instance your office uh, uh, static public gateway or public static IP so for instance uh, these are the tagging simply uh, uh, customer gateway static public IP is your office static IP in uh, pub in this module you have to provide this so Uh, let me share with you guys so guys uh, as you are seeing that the um, 20 resources um, are deployed including the um, net gateway let me refresh it you will see the net gateway so what I'm going to uh, do is to now deploy the customer gateway in the same region L as I told you about the customer gateway let assume that this is your um, uh, static public IP so I'm going to put this here so call this yes and if I go to the customer gateway section uh, you will see the um, customer gateway created let me show you yep this is the one I've talked about uh, this is the Lurgen Delph customer gateway and this is the static IP so uh, it is created okay for this you have to go to the VPC and uh, customer gateway this is the one which we have created now uh, and then we are going to create the uh, VGW which is the virtual gateway so in virtual gateway all setting is already provided with regard with regard to the public and private route IDs so you have to simply um, go and provide this names module dot 
VGW and it will ask for the prompt regarding yes or no so uh, we are going to create the virtual gateway so seven resources will be added um, as i've told you guys um, these resources are uh, the private and public uh, routes okay uh, if i go to the virtual private gateway you see um, it is the dev cloud engine dev virtual gateway and um, and this is the tagging with regard to the virtual gateway and it is attached to the vpc now we are going to simply uh, deploy our uh, the vpn connection module so in vpn connection let me tell you what is the requirement you have to provide uh, this is your office side for instance I am sitting in my home this is my home and this is uh, my home side so you have to provide your office side the rest settings you don't have to change much simply change the name trace stage and VPN connection that would be fine so rest settings you don't have to change much so it is uh, so easy I made it really easy for the static side-to-side uh, -side VPN connection which is mostly deploy uh, in uh, many offices uh, this is not BB uh, this is not BGP uh, routing so this is the static one so it is creating if I go to the uh, client VPN uh, section sorry site to site VPN section so if I refresh it you will see um, the connection with regard to the let me let me put it here yes, yeah. and as I've told you th uh, this is the my local or office side range so in sure you see it is starting so tunnel it is these are the tunnel it is uh, I'm going to uh, show you guys and this is the static route which will be shown here in a while while it is uh, creating it will take time so be patient with it so you see this is the uh, my customer gateway address office static public IP address and static uh, it will be shown here in this section the static routes so while it is uh, deploying uh, I'm going to pause you pause the video and will be back uh, in a while so guys I'm back again um, if I check my deployment it is done so if simply refresh it you see the proper tagging with regard to your uh, this tunnel are going to be definitely up you have to configure um, this side to side VPN by simply downloading the configuration file according to your router so this is the static route of my office so you see it is available and uh, one thing I also want to show you with regard to the route tables and if you uh, uh, just a minute please okay subnet yeah this one uh, route table if I click on the let's say public route and uh, if I go to the route uh, propagation you see route propagation is set to automatic yes which means routes are going to be propagated if I go to the uh, route section uh, once uh, all the configuration I've done with regard to the site to city site VPN um, you will see the route 
propagated here in this section so i'm not going to do that just to tell you guys with regard to the route propagation so it is already yes and that's it guys uh, please like and share my video uh, this is how easy you can set up the side to side vpn via the terraform modules and i will <coughs> definitely come back with another video um, which is regard to the deployment of ec2 instance and security groups uh, via terraform version 12 thank you very much have a nice day